Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today what I am going to show you is how to enable ragdoll effect to our character mesh when he is killed. And also I will show some ragdoll settings as well. But I am not going to finalize the regular ragdoll settings here. I only show how to enable them. So this is the demonstration. When this guy is dead, first it will play the death animation and then that guy will go into the ragdoll mode. I'll show you again. Okay. So like that. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first I'll open my CH human character, which is the parent character of all these uh, enemy character and the player character. And this is my update health macro. And when the health is smaller or equal to zero this guy dies as with by playing this animation so in this part i should enable the ragdoll effect so uh, this is how we enable ragdoll effect first we need a reference to this uh, mesh of the character and I'll drag and drop it here and then I should set simulate physics this one set simulate physics so right now actually I should allow let's check the length of this animation first it is uh, 2.2 seconds so it would look better if I allow some time to play the animation and then I enable the ragdoll so to do it like that I'll add some delay like one second here and then enable the ragdoll let's see what happens now okay he died but nothing happened what is that all right i forgot to add this set this as true okay so let's check again now right oh what happened so i think the ragdoll was enabled but this guy fall through the ground so right so this happens because uh, when i enable the ragdoll so something is wrong with the collisions so in the current settings of this uh, mesh under uh, collision settings i have set this to custom and make it like this that's because i needed to i had some problem with clipping camera or when i was in a when i'm in a fight with another guy my camera was going kind of problematic so that's why i ignored these things so yeah in order to work collisions properly with uh, when the ragdoll is enabled i should have set the collision preset to ragdoll but i can't do it here because 
it shouldn't be in the ragdoll mode when the character is alive so therefore before enabling this physics simulation I'll set the collision profile of this mesh at the runtime like this set collision profile name this one and I can set this collision profile with the name of the profile so that means these are the these are the collision profiles available I'll put a ragdoll here okay now let's check right so now the ragdoll is enabled and yeah so basically this is what I wanted to show you but since I have spent only five minutes I'll do some extra work too so as you can see I can't I can't walk through this area something is blocking me actually the what blocking me is the capsule of this character I can make it visualize like this if I set this to as not to hidden in the game like this you can see it uh, let me kill him first okay so you can see this collision capsule and since it is uh, still here I can't walk in this area so when this character is dead I think I should disable collisions for that capsule so I do it like this collision enabled set collision enabled and I'll use new type to no collision let's see if that works I hope that also wouldn't cause this guy to fall off the ground right now I can walk through him and also we have another problem here this guy is uh, the head is keep bouncing unnaturally so and also the hands are kind of awkwardly yeah this position is basically kind of awkward so we can fix these things in in the physics asset of this character mesh actually I think it would be better if I do these things in a different video but for now I'll quickly select these everything and let's check if I have some settings to yeah we have this linear damping and angular damping let's try increasing this one into point one and see what happens okay now I think this is much better isn't it yeah so all what I did was add in some angular damping so what if I increase this one as well let's see okay but still I can move around this yeah with shift and right mouse button I can move around this guy like this so you can see 
how good the physics simulation is by doing like this and as you can see this hand is not natural and the head and everything is not natural they can bend in any way they need they want so we can quickly fix it like this start disable the simulation and you see these these cone like things these are the constraints of each of these joints these joints and I'll select all of them first and this one, this one. No. So I'll select all of these uh, constraints at joints and so this is uh, they have already set to uh, angular limits to limited and swing limit is 45 45 degrees in every way so I'll reduce this into something like 5 and let's check well I think now it's too stiff it does not look like a human see the hands should fall down but it's not like that this is not natural it's more like a puppet or something so right basically I'll keep everything in this way and then I'll select this right arm this one and I'll increase the angular limits of this of those things to like 20 well it's at 30 and this one 20 this one twist what is twist I'll keep it like 10 and let's check again okay still not good enough hands so I'll increase this to 90 so that these hands will fall all the way down mm, no okay well 180 then okay still not good enough but uh, I think you know now how to set these things this also 90 so also I'll add 60 here okay now I think well I'll do a different video I have to study this a little more and I'll do a proper video on this so for now I'll keep this guy like this and then let's see let's kill him one more time first I'll disable that capsule visibility like this okay and I'll kill him again right well the hands and other parts are not bent in natural way but still this does not look human enough to me and we will work on this in future
all right and that's all for today and wait okay that's all for today and see you in the next episode as always uh, you can check my patreon page to download the project files and see other stuff as well and also you can support my work there all right see you in the next video goodbye